1 Timothy 6 11 says, But thou, O man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. I imagine one of the main reasons you are reading this book is because you desire to center your future marriage on Jesus. No matter how near or far off this season of life may seem, you are intentionally seeking the will of God. You will be honored for setting your heart and mind on Jesus throughout the entire process. Marriage is about the joining together of two separate lives. This means everything that was once yours is now shared with your future husband. The truth of this statement sunk in for me when I looked at what was once my half-empty closet now filled up with my husband's clothes. It was no longer my closet, it was now ours. We were now co-owners of just about everything. Marriage has a way of bringing about an increase in your life in more ways than imagined. There are a great number of things you will share in your marriage, but your faith isn't one of them. The faith you possess can't be transferred to or co-owned by your future husband. He has to have a faith of his own, and this is something he should bring into the marriage with him. Your future husband should be a man of great faith prior to you committing your lives to each other. Being a man of faith is about more than attending church regularly. The Bible describes what it looks like to be a man of faith, someone who is seeking Jesus in every aspect of life. Paul explains in this letter to Timothy that a man of faith should not be in pursuit of the things of this world. Instead, he should pursue after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. In every part of his life, a man of faith should seek to live in a morally upright way. He should put his faith and love for God above all other things, even if it costs him material possessions or his reputation. A man of faith will choose to extend love to strangers, friends, enemies, and family. His words will be filled with gentleness, and by the strength of Jesus, he will endure all of life's seasons. These are the qualities a man of faith will reflect in his daily life. This isn't to say he will reflect these qualities in every situation, or that he doesn't have room to grow in these areas. But there should be a glimmer of these attributes that you and others are able to see regularly. Just as you seek to be a godly woman in your daily life, your future husband should desire to be godly as well.